So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I have a very quick and simple tip on how you can make the boss fight on Dead of the Night a billion times easier and complete this thing within two and a half minutes. It is absolutely insane and definitely the best tip I could ever give any player that wants to make the boss fight as easy as possible. This was first brought to my attention by my fellow YouTube friend Codename Pizza, who found out that the steak knife is incredible in the boss fight. So if you don't know how to get the steak knife i have a interactive card on the top right of your screen now which will show you how to do that but essentially the setup i recommend you have is the steak knife which is a definite must for this to work as well as the scepter of ra for a guaranteed way to make sure that you can't die whilst trying this out it's definitely not necessary but i would highly recommend homunculuses for this as well particularly on solo as this just makes this a absolute cakewalk so when you jump into the boss fight your first task is to align these torches to shine towards the green area on the map. Once that's happened, I get a homunculus ready and then stand in there and wait for the wolf to make his appearance. Once he enters that green square, I simply get my scepter of Ra out with it at level three, plant it down, and then simply melee the wolf with the steak knife. And as you can see, within, I'd say 15 seconds of the wolf being entangled in that square, he is gone. And that first phase is completely gone. In my Easter egg guide, which I also have down in the description as they're in active eye i recommended the helion salvo and that is also great but you're gonna have to be doing this and repeating this about four times or so with helion salvo in order to get the wolves for its first phase but with this you can get it through it in 15 seconds it's incredible now the next part is completely up to how quick you can take these guys out and this is all revolving around zombies elemental zombies and the mini werewolf bosses now i would recommend the savage impaler is very good for taking out wolves very quickly but i didn't have it in this game so did add an extra bit of time so i used my annihilator instead which still takes them out really really quickly and as you see we're through that phase and then we're into the last phase here and i just chucked the homunculus very early on as i know i've got all the green areas lit up the torches are all in the right place i just wait for the invisible wolf to make his way in bam melee him and that is it it is as simple as that it makes this easter egg especially on solo incredibly easy but even on co-op i'm pretty sure this will also work the wolf's health does get multiplied by how many players there are but if everyone's got the steak knife and is doing this again you're gonna absolutely steam through this no worries let me know in the comment section how cool and useful you think this tactic is and let me know if you've been successful at defeating the boss using this exact tactic if you learned something new and you were surprised by how quick this boss can be completed essentially making it the easiest boss fight we've ever seen drop a like rating on the video as i really would appreciate it but you can check out my last upload on screen now which is an ultimate guide to dead of the night but until then i'll catch you next time